Well, third time's a charm. Eat these runbacks. The runbacks for the bosses before Elden Ring. Incredibly annoying. Okay. You go up. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my video. And today we're going to be doing dumb stuff. These crabs are just too tanky for their own goods. Come on. Ooh. What is it with that spam? Oh my goodness, he's so spamming that attack over and over and over again. Look at that. This sword is not doing a very good job for uh Crabs. Jeez, finally. Holy cow. And now I'm fat rolling again. This part of the swamp. Sneaky, sneaky, these guys. I do like the knockback with the quick attack. Like, it does make it a lot easier. Like, granted, the uh, butcher knife has some pretty good knockback, but I don't know. It just doesn't attack super quick, and this seems kind of satisfying, actually. Now we go over here. Let's get this guy out of the way aim whatever actually aim at whatever I was aiming for like that see that is what I want to see knocking them out of their attacks and you got really mad there sorry dude can't help it that your mother never loved you something you need to talk to the therapist about And I remember those giant ant things from uh, Dark Souls 2. I do really like that Elden Ring has a dedicated jump button. Like, playing these games, the Dark Souls games, you realize how much you really want the dedicated jump button. There you are. Holy cow. Ooh, that was quite a hefty pickup there. But, uh, there's something in here. Anything useful? Oh, it's one of the Black Knights. That's right. Cell sword. Nice. Okay. You stay that way. Cell mm. sword twin blades. Let's get this just in case I die to this black knight. Come here, buddy. 
I know that these guys are like really good to parry. I don't need any parry practice at the moment. There we go. Now I realize that that probably hurt, but uh, believe me, it hurts you a lot more than it hurts me. <laughs> Woo! Nasty little guy. Hitless. Look at that. Didn't even stand a chance. Of course, it's more hitless from luck than actual skill at this point. Can I go up here? I don't remember if I went up here. I, think I got distracted with other places. Oh, there you are. Look at these big old hats. It's like Big Hat Logan. Maybe Big Hat Logan is the boss. There you go. Crystal gems? Steven? No. <laughs> oh, my kids have been watching that lately, and my goodness. There's some very annoying aspects about that show. this ring of sacrifice that's nice i like those things when i'm trying to explore you know uh elden ring i think had it done better with their flask where you're kind of like forced to choose when you want to use it because it only lasts for a few minutes but uh then they also give you those like twig talismans that will do the same thing and not just wear off. But I like the flask for exploring things that are obviously going to be dangerous. Ooh, there is a shiny down there. Ugh. Let's, uh, let's get this guy. Oh, there's another one. Jeez. I didn't even notice this guy. He was just minding his own business. It's too bad. Too bad. Jeez. What are you doing? <clears throat> he goes back. I go back. He goes back. I go back. Alrighty. Now, let's go up through here. One bonfire over there. Let's, uh, let's rest at that, get refueled with my flasks. And then continue. Well, maybe I should spend my runes. Where are those guys up there right now? Ugh. My goodness. Let's get spammed with people. Get out of there. No. Get out of there, jeez. Holy cow. No, this isn't good. What the heck? They're bagging me into a corner, and I'm swinging, and I can't get through. What the freak? Hate you things. It's like I said before. It's so annoying that they can knock me out of any attack. Like there is no attack, heavy jumping or otherwise, that they can't knock me out of. 
And so I have to sit there and take all of their attacks. And it's not like I have on the weakest armor. Crystal gems again. Ooh. Interesting. Too bad I don't use any sort of magic build. I should definitely try and go through these games with a magic build. It'd be interesting to see the difference, you know? Come on. Come on out. And going in there. Stupid thing. See an opening, go for an opening. Okay. Get rid of the guys down here. Oh. There's a hole down there. Or what that leads to. Come on, dude. They're incredibly annoying. <sighs> Another one. Ugh. What? If I were to try something like that, it would bounce off the pillar. Come on, guys. Come on. Dark Souls isn't hard because it's hard. It's hard because it's not fair. <laughs> I'm saying that in jest, people, okay? I'm just joking. That leads me over there, which I've already been. How did I get up there? I don't remember. Yep, that's not how I got up there. Ah, I was through here was that's right it's hidden little way over here there's this guy up here who wants nothing to do with me well this is unexpected what do you want yeah i wonder this why your attitude might have business. something to do with that How intriguing you'd better not and should never be for you have your own methods Sorcery, don't <laughs> let it bother you. Be on your way then. You're unkindled. Well, ignoring him. There was a shiny over here. Which is really the whole reason why I came up here. Not that it's going to do me any good, because I'm probably not going to use it, even though it would be good for me to use it, but I'm definitely not going to use it. And here's the big boss. Now, I beat him first try in my first run. Let's see if I can recapture that lightning. What the heck? What the heck? He never pulled out any of those moves in my first run. At least not till like second phase when he starts calling other guys. What the heck? I was lucky in my first run to like always kind of pop up wherever he was. Buddy, where are you? There you are. What? Popped up and then disappeared. Ah, there you are. Oh no. No, oh, that's his clone. Oh, his clones have all this blue magic. Where did that come from? No, 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 no. And he has this like purple whatever magic. Oh, come on. 
No, don't do this to me. Ah. Uh, well, first tries out the window. Come on. Oh. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, those stupid clones. Well, third time's a charm. Eat these runbacks. The runbacks for the bosses before Elden Ring are incredibly annoying. Okay. Here we go. Oh. What the heck? What was that? <laughs> I wish there was some sort of cue as to where he was going to pop up. Come on. There you are. Oh, come on. Pops up and he goes down and pops up and he goes down. Get rid of these guys. Like, actually get rid of them. Come on. Seems like the clones do just... Or only get one... No, stop it! Get like one shot. Come on. He's over there. Gotta get rid of these guys first. At least that one is a little ways behind the door. Where are you? There you are. And he's kind of protected there. Could potentially... No. One more shot. Don't do this to me. Don't you dare do this to me. I'll sit there and make this one last shot. Okay. Yes. Exactly where I thought he was going to be. Phew. My goodness. So annoying. Did it my first try and the first time I ever met, met him. Third try now. Not fun. Not fun. Now I'm going to Firelink. And do a few things there and then continue on my way. Stupid boss, my goodness. Still salty about that. Uh, Dark Souls combat really shines when it's 1v1. I should go right off the edge. Yep. Goodbye. Problem is, once you get bosses that can either summon or like have clones or stuff like that, then there's even more trouble. like ruins that 1v1 stuff. This guy, sit there, in fact, this guy, and that guy comes up. Like, oh, you know what people love? You know what's really challenging? Having enemy spam. Not just any enemy spam, but enemy spam where you can sit there and... Holy cow, I almost died there. Where they can sit there and knock you out of any attacks, but you can't stop any of their attacks. I 
it is the one thing that I find unfair about uh, Dark Souls is the fact that they can poise through every single attack and you can poise through pretty much none of them. Alright, time for Dolores. And that's about it for my ranting session today. Dolores. I am coming for to find you. Round. There we go. You are aiming in the completely wrong direction. There we go. Nice. Herald? Nah. I like the Fallen Knight set. It has a good balance of things, you know? It's not super one way or another. It's just well balanced all around. Not the heaviest, not the lightest, not the best at blocking damage, not the worst. I would say that for its weight, then it has kind of the best. There we go. I think that this guy can parry me. What the heck? Oh, I didn't realize that I had like a stamping upward guy. But you see what I mean? See what I mean? Like, I think you guys see what I mean. Like, he knocks me out of my, even my heavy attacks here. What are you doing? <laughs> I love how I have these, like, throwing daggers just, like, right there on top of my skull. Stupid thing. Get out of my way. Aladdin's ashes? What does that one give me? I keep forgetting to buy that, uh, that key. Maybe I'll buy it with, like, the next boss souls and stuff. Ooh. Nope. Nothing down there. It's up there, though. Oh, is this the only way to get up there? What is up here? I don't remember finding this the last time. I remember that the next room around here is... Ooh, Crest Shield. A room, like, right through there is full of archers and dogs. Like, two of the absolute worst things in any game. Especially because the archers can still knock you out of your attacks. Okay, no. I said I was done ranting. I mean it. I'm just really salty about having had to fight the guy three times instead of my first time win last time. It was very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Anyway. Let's get back here for a sec. I mean, the least you could do is put an ember. All right, time for this. Behind these so that the archers can't sit there and peg me at 900 meters. I said freaking F-R-E-A-K. Again, don't swear, so. Sometimes my mic doesn't pick up the subtle lower notes, so, or lower tones of my voice, because I sound like Winnie the Pooh with a head cold, but... <clears throat> you ever hear it where it sounds like I'm saying some sort of swear? I'm not saying any swears. Ah, 
Oh, come on. Nonsense. There you go. What are you, where are you going, dog? Get rid of this guy. My goodness. Annoyances. Let's go. Anywhere else? Anyone else? Anything else? Nope. All right, there's nothing. Time to get. I do kind of like this next area. I mean, it's at least an interesting area. There are some weird, I guess, maggot things. But at least it's interesting. <laughs> you can get to be your suicide bomber. <laughs> and here. Nice big ol' bonfire. Look at this. It's gigantic. Hey, this guy's here this time. It's interesting. He's the one that leads me to one of the DLCs, and I only know that because he wasn't here in my first run through. And then, like, I saw that I hadn't downloaded the DLCs, even though I had them. And so when I downloaded them, then he suddenly appeared. And I only knew that he was supposed to be there because, like, I had watched somebody else who was playing the game who uh, entered into it. Wait, you, you've the same scent as that woman, then you must be so, an action. Because, like, shorts. Shorts will always spoil things for you, especially if you're uploading and watching some of your own content. Then the shorts will start showing different uh, parts of whatever game you're playing. So, YouTube shorts, I mean. Uh, Ariandel. I am definitely nowhere near fighting stock for Ariandel. I'll get there and get the, the bonfire, but... Ah, uh, thank you. Bay of Ash never fail. What is that guy? Just a moment, then. That guy actually slave Nightgale? Like, he looks more pathetic than Slave Nightgale. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. So, hmm. Don't want to touch that rotted piece of scrap you got there. Man, you know what? Touching paintings in this world is just as bad as Mario. To Mario, you actually have to jump through them. These ones will pull you. Like, far more dark and twisted. And then the ashes were two. Ashes were two? I thought there were three. No, actually, isn't there, wasn't there four? So, there's... What's her name? This guy just... He's, having, uh, he's living his best life. He loves it. Unusual. To rejoice, my new friend. For this is the cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Ariandel. Find one for yours as sweetly rotting. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, see real quick how things are around here. I definitely don't think it's the right place for me to be right now, but I'll check it out real quick. <laughs> 